What is up, YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back into Wilburn Shenanigans. My name is Chad. This is my wife, D. We back with another great reaction video. We heading back into my man, Dave Chappelle. You know, we like to venture off over here a lot. Hi, Ron. We like to venture off over here a lot. We going into... Uh, uh, I don't even got the right uh, theme down. Okay, here we go. So, this is titled, I Googled the Definition of Feminist. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Mm, okay. Dave Chappelle... See, the thing is, Dave Chappelle speak real, so him touching on this subject, I just know he ruffles some feathers. Is it a skit or just like a stand-up? I don't know. Oh. I'm about to find out. And it's looking like it's a stand-up. The dictionary definition of a feminist. Just to make sure I was talking about the right thing. And do you know, sir, what the dictionary definition of a feminist is? I didn't either. Listen to this. Break it down. Webster defines a feminist as a human being. Not a woman. Why did that just take me back so far? Webster? Yes, because I remember having to go get the Webster's Dictionary. I used to hate having to go look up words. Yeah, in element. I know. Go I know look Webster. up the word and write the definition out. Why can't you just Who's give me the definition? Webster? Why did I have to go look at a book to find it? Why you can't just give me the definition? Then you got to scroll through the parents page. Be then the pages be long as hell. Parents be making you do it the most. And then remember one of the ones with a definition long as hell? I used to hate it. No, I used to hate the one where like it was like super duper small. And it's just like, how am I supposed to read this? A human being that believes in equal rights for women. I'm shocked that that's what that meant. Because by that definition, I would consider myself a feminist. And I didn't even know that at the time. I was curious to know where he was going with All you. these years, I thought it meant frumpy dyke. <laughs> well, that's who's always talking to be some Chicken overalls, men are trying to rape us. Ah, not you, bitch. We please. <laughs> what the? <laughs> they stupid. I know. Look, listen, listen. I, I support the feminist movement. I do, in my own ways. When you guys did the women's march, I tried to go and support you. But... And none of my friends would go with me. I asked all the fellas, none of them wanted to go. I tried everything. Come on, y'all, it's gonna be bitches there. They was like, nope. <laughs> really? So what I did is I called my friend Ange. Ange is a black woman who's a comedy writer and she's dope. Matter of fact, matter of fact, she's the only woman that I know personally that pays her ex-husband alimony. And she sounds just like a man when she does it. Oh. Fuck that broke motherfucker and all that. She said, oh, <laughs> So I hit Ange up, and I, I hit her on the text. And all I did, I texted her, I said, Ange, are you going to the Women's March? A and she texted me back, and this is real text. She said... <laughs> no. She said, I hope those white bitches get tear gassed. <laughs> and he was the one wanting to go. There's he can't get nobody to go. And then feminist movement isn't there. From its inception in America, there's always been a racial component. When Susan B. Anthony was having that meeting and Sojourner Truth's black ass showed up. <laughs> Read your history books. All the white women asked Sojourner Truth not to speak. They didn't want to conflate the issues of women's rights and slavery. But you know how black bitches are. Sojourner Truth went up there anyway. <laughs> It's so funny. Speech. I love Dave because he could turn something so serious and make, and make you feel it guilty for laughing. But it's funny though. He could turn something so serious and make it so funny. That's yeah. why I love the best out of him because he, he makes something so serious so funny. Said, ain't I a woman? Ain't I a woman? That's right. And and listen, listen, listen. I I supported the Me Too movement, but but the whole time, the whole time I thought that the way they handled that was stupid. It was. It was white. It was like... <laughs> they were doing shit like going to the Golden Globes and, and all of them would be like, let's all go to the Golden Globes and wear black dresses to give these men a piece of our minds. Bitch, that is not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> you think Martin Luther King's gonna be like, I want everybody to keep riding the bus but wear matching outfits? <laughs> no, he did it. You gotta get off the bus and walk. It's real talk. Real talk, there was a silly movement. 
I want everybody to wear a crocheted pussy hat so they know we're serious. Crocheted pussy hat? What the fuck was y'all doing? <laughs> and then I said something about it in one of my specials, and all these women actresses came after me. I said, man, fuck y'all too. You canceled. I ain't jerking off to none of your pictures again. <laughs> They were like, who is he to tell us anything? I'll tell you exactly who I am. I'm the one that got off the bus and left $50 million on the bus and walked. No, tell him, dude. No, tell him, dude. The only. I agreed with these women. I just didn't agree with but what they were doing about. Right, right. No, it was annoying as fuck. <laughs> because if these women were serious, you know what they would have done? What? They all would have fired their agents. And they would have went to the mailroom of one of these big agencies and found a woman that was busting her hump in there and said, if you want to talk to us, then you have to talk to her. And if they did that, and she would be big, and they would be big, and nobody would get fed to Harvey Weinstein. But did they do that? No. Was that their idea? No. Surprisingly, it was mine. <laughs> and what I think the feminist movement needs to be very successful is a male leader. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I will. I will what lead you into the promised land. I will make sure you get equal pay. Equal you nominate work. yourself. I will make sure that nobody harasses you or fucks with you on the job. I will protect all of your interests and all that I ask for in return. Here we go. Yes. Was that you suck my dick? <laughs> <laughs> Sir. And now we're right back to square one, aren't we? Oh my. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was going somewhere. And now we get to the core of the crisis. What, what is a woman? What is that in this day and time? Is there even such thing as a woman or a man or anything? Hmm, hmm, hmm. seems to be a question nowadays. Now listen, women get mad at me, gay people get mad at me, lesbians get mad at me, but I'm gonna tell you right now, and it's true, these transgenders, <laughs> these niggas want me dead. <laughs> oh my God. I've gone too far. I've said too much. Oh, snap. And I got to tell you, I'm very worried about it. I'm not even joking. Every time I come out on stage, I'd be scared. I'd be looking around the crowd, searching for Knuckles and Adam's apples to see where the threats might be coming from. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh. A nigga came up to me on the street the other day. He said, careful, Dave, they after you. I said, what? That's creepy. One they or many they's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Why does that make sense, though? They <laughs> Before I even say anything about that community, you must know, and I hope you all feel the same way, I am not indifferent to the suffering of someone else. There's laws, the mean laws in our country. North Carolina passed a law once that said a person in North Carolina must use the restroom that corresponds with the gender they were assigned on their birth certificate. No, 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 no. No, that's not a good law. That's a mean law. Why? No American should have to present a birth certificate Take a shit at Walmart in Greensboro, <laughs> North Carolina, where the baby shot and killed a motherfucker. Oh my God. <laughs> you have to ask yourself, if you're thinking about it, who are these laws designed to protect? Like, let's say they designed this law to protect me, my interests. Transphobic comedian Dave Chappelle. And let's say that I'm, uh, I'm in Walmart uh, doing a little shopping with my family. Now, I should tell you, if that ever happens in real life, you should know that my dreams didn't work out. 
Well, let's say something goes horribly wrong, and there I am in Walmart with the poor whites rummaging around for mediocre goods and services. He needs to stay out of Walmart. And then I gotta go to the restroom. So I excuse myself and my family. I go to the men's room. Now I'm standing at the urinal, taking a leak. And, and, and this is what this law is gonna do. And suddenly, a woman walks into the men's room. I'm gonna be like, that's strange. What is Dave about And then say? she stands shoulder to shoulder with me at the urinal. I'm gonna be like, Ugh, bitch, what's going on with you? <laughs> and then she hikes her skirt up and pulls a real live meaty dick out. Really? And what do you think I'm gonna say? Why are you looking? <laughs> Thank God she's in here with me. What? At least now I know my family's safe. Mm -mm. No, I'm not gonna feel that way at all. I'm gonna feel very uncomfortable. I would feel better if it was a man with a vagina. <laughs> Backed up to the urinal next to me. Jesus. <laughs> I wouldn't even think about that. I'd just be like, hmm, that's funny. <laughs> this guy is peeing out of his butt for some reason. <laughs> oh my God, he must be a veteran. Thank you for your service. Yeah, he couldn't even hold it. He couldn't even hold it. He couldn't even hold it. He's like, should I do it? Should I do it? I'm gonna just say it. Boom. He couldn't even hold it laughing. He's like, that's it. Mm -mm. I love Dave. Chappelle is a mess. Not not only did he talk about like all that, but it's just like, why you had a why you had a dog Walmart like that? Yeah. Like he dogs Walmart. That Walmart, that Walmart in Greensboro, wherever it's at. They the people are like Dave being here. Dave told me about this Walmart. Mm -hmm. You go to the bathroom. Dave told me about this Walmart. Mm -hmm. Get it together. Get Dave it. is a mess. He said they after me. <laughs> They one or they two or more than that. He don't know which one. He got somebody out there though. Exactly. At least he's warned. <laughs> he better watch his back. This was hilarious. I love it. Thank y'all for dropping off at the gym. Thank y'all for tuning in with us once again. Y'all amazing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share all that great stuff. We out, y'all.